Right, welcome back everybody to another GCI Trade Tech uh, video. A little bit of a different one for you guys. We're just standing outside of GCI Group, the parent company to GCI Trade Tech. Uh, these guys were established in 2003, so that's 20 years of being in the business, the fabrication game. They know their stuff. We're very fortunate for them to be the parent company. We're gonna just run through the front door, uh, start with the process from start to finish, show you guys the in-house fabrication, the Australian made products that we have. And yeah, just give you a better understanding of what we can offer, the quality, the reassurance that GCI Trade Tech give. So we'll have a little run through and we'll start. Hey guys, welcome to GCI Group's factory. My name is Adam, and behind me you'll see one of our five lasers. So here at GCI Group, we've got four flatbed lasers, one of them being a um, eight kilowatt fiber laser. So behind me, you can probably see this massive SOPA system. So the SOPA system here at GCI Group um, allows these machines to run 24 seven as it automatically feeds the lasers. Um, so what we'll do, we'll quickly move on to the rotor laser and give you a quick look at that. All right, guys, so we've actually stepped over to our roto laser. So this is our six axis 3D laser. So this is the fifth laser here at GCI Group. So here at Traytech, we actually utilize this to cut out um, our custom aluminum extrusion. So on our builds, one of our highlight features is our custom uh, integrated tie down points around the outside of the tray. Uh, so that actually all gets cut in house here in Yatla uh, on this machine behind me now. All right, so. We are at the part separation stage of the process here at GCI Group. Um, so after all the parts are caught on its uh, pretty much its allocated sheet, um, it gets repalletized in this behemoth of a machine behind me. So that's the Stopa system. Um, so pretty much that stores all of our sheet metal that hasn't been cut, all the sheet metal that has been cut, uh, and so on. So at a click of a button, the guys at the part separation can pretty much call the pallet to them. They take all the parts off the sheet metal and then pretty much palletize it with a job ticket. Now that job ticket pretty much at the start ensures that it's been checked, it's been signed off and it's ready to carry on. So once it's, it's pretty much um, signed off here, it goes on to its next stage, which is pretty much just cleaning the edges. All right, so after part separation, the pallets come here to pretty much our conveyor system. Um, so it's just a big conveyor belt that has a huge sanding belt on that. So most of the time we use aluminium, so we always put the aluminium belt in the machine. Uh, the machines that we use are the Lizmax. Uh, we got the small one just behind me and the big one to my right. Uh, so these parts just next to me have already been through that uh, conveyor. So all it does is it grooves the edges and sands back the corners. So when it actually goes through protocol, it helps the protocol adhere. So rather than coming fresh off the laser cutter and having that real nasty sharp corner, it makes everything really nice and clean and just makes every process after that better. So after all the edges are grooved off of our parts, they get repelletized and then sent to the press brake machines. So just behind me, uh, these machines work off a four axis system. Um, so the backstops themselves, pretty much the backstops are what the sheet metal sits on top of to ensure the parts in the correct position. Um, so these just work off a four axis machine, so they're pretty basic. Uh, they just work in conjunction with each other. But just down here uh, are the six axis machines. Now they're a little bit more complicated, so any trickier parts, like any triangular shapes, uh, they work differently to each other, so you can tell each backstop what to do independently. So stuff like our toolboxes and all that, where it's weird uh, geometric shapes, uh, that's perfect for that type of stuff. Uh, these are really high engineered CNC press brake machines, um, so they can calculate down to the very degree that we want it to, the very mill that we want it to. So that's how we ensure that our Traytech products are to the exact pinpoint millimeter that we want it to. All right guys, so this is our welding area. Uh, so this is where all of our componentry comes through. There's not much that doesn't hit the welding section. So as you can see here, we've got all our benches set up for our clamps and whatnot to hold it all uh, nice and straight while welding. Um, so everything that we do is TIG welded uh, and uh, pretty much everything uh, gets dressed as well for that nice clean look. Um, there's a few components that we leave um, our raw welds on just for, for the aesthetics. We like the look of it, but a lot of it um, is all dressed up uh, just for an appealing look. All right, so over here we're in the GMAC section. 
Uh, so most of the stuff comes from our welding bay over to GMAC and this is where we get all of our nut certs, riveting done, any tapping that happens. Uh, that's all done in this section here. So here we are at our powder coating section. These are all the spray boosters where they prep the work and then do the actual spray. Uh, so our two main colours that we use are Textura Black on the outside of most of our components and on the inside we do a bright white. So once we finish in the powder coat booth, it goes through our oven here and then you follow me over here and we'll show you our finished product. So what you see here is one of our finished uh, tray bases done in our Textura Black powder coat. Alright guys, now we're standing outside AC off-road, so when everything's finished at the powder coat, get sent to dispatch along with all its hardware, fittings, uh, all its consumable products. Uh, it gets boxed, it gets palletized, all wrapped up nice and secure, gets sent on the truck all the way up to EC and then gets unpackaged. Uh, inside EC off-road, so this is the fitment part of the process. Uh, just behind me is the canopy station and then next to that is the tray station. Um, Guys have been good to us here at EC, uh, all local in Yatla, so any other accessories and kit outs that you're getting, it's getting fitted anyway, so they do the lot, the GVM, the lift kits, uh, 12 volt supply and cabs, all the little knickknacks you could wish for. So yeah, uh, we'll run outside in a minute, show you kind of a finished product of a EC slash Traytech combo. Now we're just outside EC, we've got a full build here, um, Chevy 2500 sporting the GT1 tray, the diesel, add blue filler on the headboard, uh, central locking, toolbox, LEDs, and all your uh, toolboxes there, all drawers, sliding in and out, standard. Uh, fridge, GPO here, you've got four little outlets and then your 12 volt sockets. Got your 130 litre Bushman there, as always. Massive capacity in that. Asymmetric pantry uh, next to the kitchen. Got a little pocket up there, usually that's like a little pie oven slide out mechanism, but you just opted for the little storage there. That's nice and handy. I uh, got your little drawer here. Um, and for all the short people like me, got your little cubby hole door there, nice and convenient. Tuck that away. Uh, coming to the back, um, he's got his awning up there, he's got his two spare wheel holders uh, with his ladder in the middle, uh, bifold ladder, uh, and then just underneath got his huge trundle drawer there. Huge capacity, uh, 1.2 meters long, 125 mil deep in the internal, um, but yeah, as always with your bifold, yeah, flips down once to climb all the way up and then folds it down from these little star nuts here and then that way you can actually get access to your spare wheels. Just on the driver side now, uh, we've got a tour package up here, uh, 400 amps, massive capacity on that. Uh, depending on your setup, you get your either two 200 amp DCS batteries or two 200 BTEC uh, batteries from InnerDrive. This, con this config um, needs the DCS uh, just because of the layout, but that's still totaling your 400 amps, uh, huge capacity there. As always, your Cymarine display showing you all the little uh, bits and bobs. Uh, your charge, your loads, temperatures, your date, the time, all the stuff. Uh, inverter, AC charger, DC to DC charger, all the tour package goods. Just below that, you got the Evercool 40 liter. Um, as always, my favorite config. Use that as your freezer when you're using your Bushman as a fridge or you just want more bevies. That's also my preference. Uh, next to that, huge drawer. Got internal stiffeners, the lot. Um, yeah, huge capacity there. It's always good. Got your little tie down rails on front as well. It's always a handy thing to have when you got, you know, big package loads and you want to bungee strap it it's always a nice little convenient thing there uh, yeah and then you got your little 500 mil capacity next to it that's good see a lot of setups have like a bolt motor loader that's always popular as well so always a good little blank canvas for whatever you wish to use it for all right guys coming from the fitment center uh, just down the street at EC off-road Yatla 
um, just in case you don't get it fitted here. Um, it will still go to ECR as normal, just down the road. They'll pre-assemble, so just kind of like this pre-assembled canopy, you've got your Bushman fridge, your GPO, central lock and all wired in, uh, false floors and roof storage, just in this base A2 package. It's just kind of pre-fitted and stuff like that, ready for the fitment center um, internationally. So the guys at Perth or the guys down in Melbourne, still EC, uh, they'll kind of get it pre-assembled just so it's easier for them. But coming from unpacked, kind of packed halfway through, it's just got foam tape, cardboard on the corners and that. It's got all your mud guards, buckets, mount kits, uh, all your wiring. It's got the tunnel drawer pre-assembled. Uh, it's all wrapped. And then after this, it's got plywood on the sides. It's got a uh, big t uh, timber frame that'll go on the corners and stuff like that, just to kind of stop it from rattling around. Just that little extra bit of protection uh, for any kind of uh, truck deliveries or anything like that. All right, guys, so that wraps up the video of our walkthrough of the manufacturing process of our trays and canopies. So now that we've given you a little idea of the Aussie-made products that we have at GCI Tray Tech, uh, come give us a visit. We're just located at 1 slash 8 Freight Street. Uh, come through the front door, up the stairs, and we'd love to have a chat. So thank you again. Hope you've had a good new year, and we'll see you soon.